About a year ago, Cardo sent me their Pack Talk Bold Comms Unit, and I must say, it has become an essential part of my writing kit. Now don't get me wrong, I do love riding in silence and not being able to take a call while riding is all part of the therapy that is motorcycling. But sometimes, mainly commuting to and from work or on long boring freeways, entertainment does come in handy, especially if it helps you stay alert. Plus the benefit of being able to ride with a mate or 15 and being able to chat while riding your therapy machine is a whole other experience in itself. Cardo has since launched their new and improved Cardo Edge, which they sent for me to try. And in this video, we're going to compare the two units closely to see what's improved, what stayed the same, the things I don't like, and my general experiences with the Cardo comms unit to help you decide whether it's worth the upgrade or to even maybe make the switch from another comms unit. But before we get started, I'd just like to say a huge thank you to Rec Watches for sponsoring this video. Rec Watches not only designs their watches based on the appearance of specific cars and motorcycles, but they also use old parts from those specific vehicles in the watch too. The watch I'm wearing today is the TTT Icon 1000 and is made from the 2013 Triumph Speedmaster developed with Icon 1000 Motorsports. Rec watches have repurposed the stator cover of the Speedmaster and transformed it into the dial of the TTT Icon 1000 watch. The Icon 1000 watch also contains references from the design of the bike. The leather strap design is based on the seat, the lugs that fasten the band to the watch were designed to replicate the shape of the pipes and it even has go fast, look flash, etched into the inner case which, wait for it, appears when the wearer switches between dress and ride mode. Yes, the entire watch face rotates 30 degrees so that once you're ready to hit the road, you can rotate the dial so that the 12 o'clock marker is shifted to center it to the rider's field of view. Once again, a huge thank you to Rec Watches for sponsoring this video. If this sounds like something you need in your life, Rec Watches are offering a 15% discount to you guys. More details are in the description below. The very first thing you'll notice is the improvement in design. A few differences here are the dimensions and the weight. The cutter edge is now a little bit smaller, shaving a few millimeters off each side, and it's 10 grams lighter. There's also no pop-up antenna, which adds to the sleekness of the design. The new air mount system means we aren't relying on a clip to hold the unit in its holder. Instead, they use a powerful magnet to hold it in its place. It also makes mounting the unit very simple. To remove, simply press the tab and slide forward. You'll notice that the mount is also sleeker in design. The charging port has moved from the underside of the unit to the back and now uses a USB-C port instead of the micro USB, which means faster charging. It's more robust and easier to plug in. The battery standby time is now 10 days compared to the bold, which is seven days. Charge time is up to two hours instead of four. 20 minutes of charge time gives you two hours of torque time. That's their fast charge feature. It's pretty fast, that's fast. When you power off the unit, you're now prompted with the battery level. And there is also a new power on and off sound, which I won't spoil for you. Software updates are now done over the air, meaning there are no cables needed for firmware updates. It's all done wirelessly from your phone using the app, which is super handy. The audio experience has also been improved with three newly designed audio profiles. Bass Boost, which provides more bass. Vocal, which provides a clearer sound, or high volume, which cranks the sound. The 40mm JBL speakers have been upgraded slightly. Now it's hard to tell if it's the speakers or the software that's helped the audio quality, but it is there. Although the new JBL speakers are 0.7mm thicker, they still fit comfortably inside my Premier helmet, which doesn't come standard with any speaker holes. Bass response differs from lid to lid. The better sealed the helmet, the better the bass response. I start losing bass response and struggle to hear a conversation when I'm hitting around 100 kilometers an hour. Even from like 80 to 100 kilometers an hour, it can be a bit iffy. However, when I'm traveling at 100 kilometers an hour for an hour or more, I'll remove the speakers and fit my molded earphones into the cardo. This way my ears are protected from the damaging wind noises and yes, traveling at 100 kilometers an hour equals around 116 decibels of wind noise, where wind noises above 70 decibels over a prolonged period of time may start to damage your hearing permanently. These are the ones I use from NoiseGuard. I'm not sponsored by any means, but these are a game changer for long rides. Most audiologists can create personalized ear molds for you and provide more info in regards to speakers. Protect your ear holes with some ear molds or just even wear earplugs, but I love the fact that you can plug in any of your headphones into the Cardo as well, and then chat with your mates. You can hear everybody, it's a good time. The new natural voice operating engine means that the voice commands are far more responsive. With the Bolt, I could never get the voice commands to work ever, not even once. With the edge, as soon as I say a voice command, literally like half a second, bammo, it's done it, and it hears me so clearly every time. I'm so stoked, it works. And they also support up to eight languages as well, which is pretty cool. The noise filtering capabilities have also been improved. The person on the other end of the phone call will barely know that you're riding, even if you're cruising at about 100Ks an hour. 
I feel like they had this down with the bold. When I called people, they had no idea that I was riding my bike, but now they've taken it up a step with the edge, which is pretty cool. It helps quite a bit with clarity when riding with somebody or in groups as well. You can hear them a little bit more clearly, and they can hear you clearly as well, which just makes it a good time. Connectivity. The Cardo Edge now comes with Dynamic Mesh Communication, or DMC, Gen 2, which basically means faster connection and better intercom sound. A cool thing about this update is that no administrator is needed, and any rider can join by pressing the intercom button. The Cardo app can also be used to define private chat partners, for example, pillion passengers, for communication outside of the group. Bluetooth 5.2 instead of 4.1, which adds to the speed of the Bluetooth intercom pairing and better sound. It also helps to connect to Bluetooth intercoms of any brand. Okay, the things that are the same. The battery talk time is 13 hours. Group size is still 15 riders, but I mean like, has anyone ever done that? I've always wondered. 15 riders, man, can you imagine the chaos? If you have ridden in a group of 15 riders with comms on, let me know. I wanna know your experiences, because holy crap, that would be, <laughs> that would be interesting. Two channels for mobile phone and GPS. You can still pair any Bluetooth communication system into the mesh group, although the new Bluetooth 5.2 means that you can do it quicker. The rider range is still 1.6 kilometers or one mile. However, they have done away with the antenna now, and for them to keep up that range is pretty impressive. The FM radio is all pretty similar, with operating frequencies from 76 to 108 megahertz, six preset stations, and the operating temperatures range from minus 20 degrees Celsius to 55 degrees Celsius. The app's the same and the contents in the box is all pretty much similar to that of the bold, except everything's now the edge. Dislikes. Now these dislikes are things that I just, I got really picky with it. I like to try to find dislikes with everything I review and this is just some of them. I found that the buttons need a little bit of force when pushing in compared to the bold. Noticeably when you go to power it off, you're pressing the two buttons in and if you relieve a little bit of pressure from any finger, it's just gonna lift from the button which means that you're gonna be cycling through modes or you might call someone or I don't know, something. But it's happened to me a few times. You gotta really push and hold hard for that three seconds and then you hear it powering down. The volume knob is also shorter in length. So if you're wearing thick winter gloves um, or you wear thick gloves in general, you're gonna you know, have to use the side of your finger maybe to roll the volume back and forward. I mean, you can just use voice commands, which is fantastic. But I did find that it was a little bit more tricky to, you know, just to roll the volume forward and back. They've still got a rubber flap over the charging port. And this one's even worse than the old one. Uh, that's what I found anyway. With the micro USB port on the bottom of the unit with a little rubber flap. I found that didn't close properly sometimes. Dust, some water could get in there. I was sort of hoping that they would have like maybe a magnetic connection so that if it goes flat while you're riding and it's raining, you can just still go click and just throw a cable on there. It starts charging it up, full water sealed as well. But they didn't. They've gone for another rubber flap, which I feel like is even worse. It's very hard to push in to get your thumbnail over it there and really dig in and make sure that it's closed properly. Bit of a bummer. And I feel like if that gets weathered over a couple of years or something, that could easily just tear and snap and then that's it. It is not weatherproof anymore or waterproof. Bit of a shame. Ah well, but that's all. Just those few things. That's the, they're the only gripes I could really think of from the unit. Those small things, nothing crazy. The Packtalk Edge standalone goes for $389.95 USD or $699.95 for the Duo. This is based on their website. Packtalk Bold standalone goes for $339.95 US or $599.95 for the duo. However, if you do decide to purchase anything from the store, whether it's a comm unit or a secondary comms unit, secondary helmet, pack, more comms units, please consider using my affiliate link, which is in the description below. I do get a little kickback from each purchase made from their website at no expense to you guys. So I thank you in advance for supporting me and the future of this channel. So the question stands, is it worth upgrading to the Cardo Edge from the Bolt? In my opinion, no, it isn't. You're not really missing out on too much. Sure, the little improvements are great and you'll notice them, but you will find that once you install it and take it out on a couple of rides, it doesn't really differ that much from the Cardo Bolt. Well, not enough for me to fully exchange it and make a new purchase and buy the Edge anyway. However, if you are after a unit that looks so damn sexy, that complements your helmet, that runs so stealthy on the side and photographs well, Smells good, feels good in your hand, no aerial. The Cardo Edge is for you, baby. Ooh, it is for you, like it does look sick. It is the best looking comms unit out there, for sure. What are your thoughts? Will you upgrade or switch to the Cardo Edge? Let me know in the comments below. Once again, thank you so much to RecWatchers for sponsoring this video. Seriously, guys, 
It is the sexiest looking thing. Holy crap. Compliments Yukato. They compliment each other. Jump over to the website and take a peep at their timepieces for yourself. So good. Oh, so good. I don't even get to keep this. I gotta send it back. I gotta send it back. I don't want it. No, like the, the whole the whole ride mode thing. That's just like and it does actually make a difference. When you're riding and you see the 12 o'clock where it should be, like, oh, I don't, you're, not, you're not, you know, even thinking about it. It's just, it's there. Rick watches, man. They're all over it. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.